But I tell you, women are strange. The other thing that women don't realize is that the big toe isn't just used for cleaning. Because you'll often get a situation where you're going to say to the guy, Honey, you know that blue silk scarf I asked you to hang up a couple of days ago? Do you know where that's gone? Uh, let me look for it, honey. I, I think I might be able to find it. <laughs> oh yeah, honey, I found the scarf, no problem. Men need, men need constant praise. And that's why you probably notice that whenever it's the simplest task, a man will come up to you and announce with great pride that he just washed the dishes. You'll be thinking to yourself, well, that's, that's really spectacular because uh, I shoveled the snow, I picked up the dry cleaning, I took the kids to school, I did work for 12 hours today, I vacuumed the house, and on and on and on. But women are sensitive and they know that that's not how they can react even though they're thinking, this guy's a goof. So I go up to the guy and go, oh, you wash the dishes. I'll probably tickle him behind the ear. I go, oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. Oh, you're so good. And the guy will just be beaming with praise. If, honest to goodness, if the guy had a tail, it'd be wagging. But this positive praise is so important in a relationship. And nowhere, nowhere is it more important than in the bedroom. In the bedroom, men often confuse doing something many times with doing something well. <laughs> Guys, what I do, <laughs> what I do, so that I can stay current on what women want, is I read Cosmopolitan magazine. And guys, if you don't read it, you should, because you'll be amazed what you'll find out about women when you read Cosmo. Recently, the most recent article I was reading, you guys got to listen to this. Anyway, the gist of this article is that apparently women can have orgasms too. <laughs> Who knew? Anyway, I keep reading this article because this is an eye opener to me. I'm reading this article and this women's orgasm thing has to do a lot with something called a G-spot. Now I'm reading on to try and find out where this G-spot is, but after reading this article, near as I can tell guys, the G stands for good luck finding it. <laughs> what makes it worse, what makes it worse is for the woman to have the orgasm, it's required that the men do a whole series of complicated maneuvers and really kind of weird things to help the woman have an orgasm. As if that's not enough, guys, we have to do all those maneuvers in the 30 seconds between the time that we have an orgasm and the time we fall asleep. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think it's possible, I don't think it's possible for women to understand the obsession that men have with sex. You know, they did a survey recently and they found that women, when given a choice between a box of chocolates and sex, more often than not, would choose a box of chocolates. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that men don't know that women can have orgasms, but there's probably more to it than that. On the other hand, men, on the other hand, men, when asked if they had a choice between sex and anything else on the planet, they chose sex. Now women, at this point, you're probably still a little skeptical. And to try and prove my point, I asked a friend of mine before the show if I could borrow his bottle of Viagra. <laughs> and I brought it with me. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read to you, I'm going to read to you the warning label off a bottle of Viagra. Now I can't, give me a break, I can't read that. So I printed it out. Here's what the warning label says. If you take Viagra, you might suffer from headaches, stuffy or runny nose, diarrhea, urinary tract infection, upset stomach, flushing, a drop in blood pressure causing a heart attack and death, 
<laughs> Vision loss, including blindness. Huh. So maybe it is true what our parents told us when we reached puberty. Blindness, sudden hearing loss, dizziness. It also suggests that you should consult your physician if your erection lasts more than 12 hours. <laughs> and I tell you, that's a bitch. <laughs> but I'm trying to picture the household. No, honey, don't worry about it. It's only been 10 hours. <laughs> but hopefully this helps women to understand how important sex is to a man. When your guy is making these sad puppy eyes at you on a Saturday night and he's offering to wash the dishes, he's not trying to be nice. He's telling you that he needs sex. And when he swallows that Viagra, he's telling you that he's willing to die for it. <laughs> Now this is important, you have to understand that a man will give anything for cheap, meaningless sex. A man will give up fame, a man will give up fortune, a man will give up family, reputation, a man will give up their kingdom for cheap, meaningless sex. Now even as I say that, I know a lot of the women and guys are wondering, well, cheap, meaningless sex, that's one thing. Now, here's the thing i got to explain to women. There's cheap, meaningless sex, and there's nothing else. <laughs> now, i got to tell you, when I was rehearsing this with my wife, before we came here and I shared that with her, well, suffice to say, there's going to be a dialogue when we get home tonight. <laughs> But I think it's, now that women understand, I don't think we should be criticized for this obsession with sex. The fact that we use 98% of our brain just to think about sex, don't criticize us for that. Why don't you applaud and be amazed at all that we can accomplish using only 2% of our brain? <laughs> Women always feel that they have to help them. They have to give them advice. You know, stuff like, honey, uh, maybe you want to turn off the electricity before you rewire the sockets. <laughs> honey, maybe, uh, maybe you want to uh, turn the water off before you do the pipes. Now this advice, well-meaning, perhaps life-saving, <laughs> the problem is, is that men do not react well to any form of criticism. So the two words, the two most important words in any man's life are, I'm sorry. Now I'm going to explain how that works and I'm going to tell something tonight. I'm going to break the guy code of silence on this subject. So women, pay attention and guys, please forgive me. When a guy says to you, I'm sorry, that is guy code for shut up. <laughs> Now think about it. Think about it. When does your guy say he's sorry? Gee, honey, why didn't we ask for directions back there? Now we're hopelessly lost. Gee, sweetie, I'm sorry. <laughs> honey, honey, I'm sure this happens to lots of guys. Why don't we just cuddle? Sweetie, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.